And now at six, a weather alert. A winter storm blew in this morning, leaving behind snow and some pretty slick streets. That storm is over, but as it now moves out of the state. We could still be dealing with the aftermath now. Wet roads could freeze overnight. Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown joining us now with everything we need to know on this Wednesday evening. All right, so we had a lot of snow today. We also had a lot of melting today, mm -hmm. which is kind of the issue. Pavement temperatures warmer, stayed warmer throughout the night. We barely dropped below freezing today. Wow. Really? Yeah. 32 briefly for two hours, and then back to 33. Yeah. That's the issue with the snow. I mean, it was a very wet snow. You can feel it when you try to get it up out there. Now, most locations, I would say around the state, if we're going to give you a range of snowfall totals, one to six inches, Indy, uh, closer to three. We promised you around four, so falling short, but really close. Uh, this system did lift north after a while and bring the heaviest snowfall there, so some of the amounts north are a little heftier. As we look at the radar right now, some scattered flurries for you. Uh, patchy drizzle as well. Many locations, it looks like this, where the grassy areas, rooftops are snow covered, but not so much the pavement because, once again, the pavement temperatures were warm. And also, any area that's been salted, um, this is really good salt snow because it melts away almost immediately. Now, the issue that we're going to have moving forward is all of the ponding that we have out there. I think we're going to see uh, icy spots, tomorrow, right? Not a widespread issue, but slick in spots. As far as road temperatures, Right now they're falling, but you can see the 20s for areas north of the 465 loop, Hamilton County there over into Lebanon and south, seeing more, you know, mid 30s, which means we're still melting in many locations and will not stop the melting until temperatures drop late tonight. Currently we're in the low 30s, but it feels like the 20s overnight temperatures will fall to the 20s, feeling colder when you factor in that wind chill. Over to you. Ashley, thank you. We have team coverage of today's winter storm. Our crews are spread out from north to south, but let's start with travel tonight, okay? The majority of Indiana counties have now issued travel alerts. Counties in orange are under a travel watch. Counties in yellow have issued a travel advisory. Marion County is expected to be under an advisory through the end of the evening rush. News 8's Katira Winfrey is on those roads right now. She joins us with an update. Hello, Alexis and Phil. We are now back in downtown Indianapolis. We are on Illinois, and um, the streets are looking so much better. Earlier this morning, as you started your morning commute, if you were one of the people who ended up having to go to work, you could tell that the roads were bad. They were icy, slushy. People were driving 20, 25 miles an hour. Now things are relatively back to normal with the traffic flow. And also, not a whole lot of folks still on the street. Um, people have been moving about a little bit more than what we saw earlier in the day. But considering on a normal day around this time, you're dealing with rush hour traffic, dealing with those people trying to get home, you're not seeing that backup. Things are running pretty smoothly. As Ashley's mentioned, as several other people have mentioned, with that snow melting, you have seen a little bit of ponding on the sides of the roads, but overall, nothing too major. Now, some of those side streets where they haven't had as much traffic, you can kind of start seeing that slush a bit more where it hasn't had as many cars driving over it, melting it. But as of right now, total turnaround from what things look like earlier in the day to what we're seeing now. And that's good news for people who are desperate to get out, desperate to maybe get out get a bite to eat. Also, during our travels, we've seen quite a few open signs. So that's one sign that things are getting back to normal, if you will. But again, total turnaround from what we saw earlier in the daytime. Kazir, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and go to News 8's Richard Essex live in Hamilton County. Richard, what do you see? Well, in the past hour, Hamilton County has lowered their travel advisory from a watch to an advisory, which means that if you're out driving around tonight, you should still take caution that the roads are still still slick. And you can tell by some of the people that are passing by that they uh, being cooped up all day has made them a little mouthy out here in, in Hamilton County. We are seeing fewer and fewer plow trucks out tonight. And when you are out here tonight, the, the emergency management folks are saying, take it easy. I'm sure that we're going to drop our watch back to an advisory until the crews can get cleaned up and then we'll probably leave that on overnight just because of the potential for slick spots on bridges and overpasses. Slush, the dirty cousin of snow, is the main obstacle facing these three state snow plows. The trucks loaded with salt with their plows lowered to the pavement, 
cleared the intersection with ease. Shane Booker, the executive director of the Hamilton County Emergency Management Center, says his people will be keeping an eye on slush potentially becoming ice. Some of the larger drainage culverts, a lot of people don't see that as the potential like it, it would be a bridge. So there's always the chance of that freezing up just like a bridge would. Hamilton County, for the most part, escapes serious roadway issues with this snow event. The county has a meteorologist and they consult with the National Weather Service. They kept adjusting the forecast through the night and into the morning rush hour. Though the snow amounts may not have been what everyone expected, Booker cautions people to not ignore future weather events. Obviously, we're focused on what's happening here on the ground. But, you know, if we have dry layers that come in or, you know, warm layers that can, can come in, that's going to change that forecast. And winter weather is the hardest to predict. So we do ask people to kind of keep up their guard. And we know that the last two have been not to, the, to what we thought they were going to be. But at the same time, I mean, it's really kind of a blessing in disguise. The snow plows have been busy here in Hamilton County. State Road 32, which runs east and west through the county, is for the most part clear. Interstate 31, which runs north and south, the, the, tip, the, the speeds seem to be at about normal, but you can still see people are still very, taking it very cautious. We are seeing an increase in traffic. It is 6 o'clock. It is kind of rush hour, and people are starting to get out. But the emergency management people are asking you to still, if you go out tonight, be careful. In Hamilton County, Richard Essex, Wish TV, back to you in the studio. Richard, thank you very much. News is Camilla Fernandez has been following weather conditions in Johnson County. And Camilla, a lot of roads are cleared out there. Phil, that's right. Right now I'm in downtown Greenwood. And as you can see, streets have been cleared. There is some slush. I spoke with a business owner today and a couple of residents who tell me that the amount of snowfall wasn't too bad. It's no big deal. It really isn't. If, if you live here, you should be prepared for something like this. For a lot of business owners, the snow hasn't stopped them from opening shop. In downtown, the owner of A-Trains, Les Jared, says he's seen worse. We've had more, but it's, you know, there's no blowing and drifting. The sidewalk's easy to clear. I mean, unless you're disabled or something and just can't get around, you're fine. All he needed was a broom and the right boots to clear the sidewalk. If you own a business, you clean your sidewalk. The heavy and wet snow was perfect for making a snowman or having a snowball fight with friends. But for some, clearing snow outside their homes was not as easy. I knew it was going to be really wet and hard to move because my, uh, my granddaughter, who lives with me, had already started building a snowman out back. So that was kind of an indication it was still going to be hard to move. No, it's a good workout. Uh, you know, it's don't have to go to the gym today. Steve Feeney says the weather conditions presented some challenges. Well, I started out using snowblower, but once I saw how heavy it was and it wasn't ejecting from the chute, that I more or less just used it as a plow because it wasn't uh, operating because of the density and the wetness of the snow. He says overall, the snowfall isn't too bad. What they were talking about was a lot more intense and uh, going to be a little bit more challenging to drive in, but this seems like it's going to be gone if the weather holds 24, 48 hours. It'll be clear pavement. I have seen a number of drivers pass by, but the Johnson County Sheriff's Office wants to remind people to remain watchful of hazardous situations and avoid those areas. In Greenwood, Camilla Fernandez, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Camilla, thank you. News aides Cody Fisher has been following conditions in Howard County. He's live in Kokomo monitoring the snowfall up north. Cody. Hi guys, yeah, we still have some light snow falling up here in Kokomo, Kokomo but it was it was falling a lot heavier earlier, and you can see just the impact of this storm here on Somerset Drive, as you still see this uh, layer of snow, which has turned to slush, but if you just look a little bit past me here onto Weber Street, it's completely clear, and cars have been having no trouble uh, driving on the main streets, and road crews here in Kokomo tell me that there's a reason why the neighborhood street, Somerset Drive, uh, is still has slush while the main street is clear. We've got 22 trucks out right now. 
Those 22 trucks have to clear 339 road miles in Kokomo. It's business as usual. This one, it's, it, was, it was helpful that it was a, a wet snow. Snowstorms are not just for work. They're also for play. When I was a kid, we used to be able to come out here and do this. Diane Howard says she left work early just to be able to come sledding with her four-year-old granddaughter. This is amazing. This is part, probably the best part of having kids and getting grandkids. As kids continue to enjoy the snow day, <laughs> road crews say they're tactically targeting the main streets. After we get those clean, after the snow quits this afternoon, then we'll jump into the secondaries. Now, the road crews here in Kokomo tell me that they are their plan is to have the secondary streets like this neighborhood street looking exactly like the main thoroughfares here in Kokomo by at least uh, at the latest noon uh, on Thursday. Reporting live in Kokomo, Cody Fisher, Wish TV, wishtv.com. Follow us on Facebook. Cody, thank you. Stay safe out there on the road, sir. News aide's Jasmine Miner is on the north side of Indianapolis with a look at street conditions close to here. Jasmine, how the road is? Yeah, hey, we're doing pretty good out here on Meridian Street. Just take a look. Roads are really pretty clear, not doing too shabby. We've got some light flurries coming down. But for the most part, this is what helped keep things Business as usual for Wheeler Mission Shelter. In fact, they tell me they still have open spaces currently right now, and they've been crediting that to all the local organizations who stepped up during the pandemic to boost the housing system. 365, seven days a week, uh, all year, every year. Uh, we don't, you know, ever have any off days. No days off for those lending a helping hand. In weather like this, we just have a whole bunch of guys here all the time. William Bumpus is the director of the men's emergency shelter at Wheeler Mission. He says capacity is about 400 people, but right now they're sitting around 320. The guys that we see now are just new guys, new guys coming into the system, um, new guys entering into homelessness. So, you know, our, our main goal is, is to try to get them in a position to end their homelessness in the best way they can. He credits the lower numbers to the boom of initiatives taken by local organizations to create more housing during the pandemic. Still, he says there's more work to do. We're sending a lot of guys out and some guys are getting housed, but as many as we're sending out in housing, we have that many coming in. He tells me most of the men here will be staying the night as the shelter provides movies, books and Bible studies, along with, of course, a warm place to be. They'll do a game night or they'll do a um, sock giveaway or something like that. Fortunately, the snow is already melting. The the biggest thing is just making sure we have the capacity to take on anyone who needs shelter services during this weather. Well, if you would like to volunteer for Wheeler Mission, they're always looking for extra help. And of course, if you know someone in need of housing, just head to our website right now at wishtv.com where I've got some more information for you. I'm Jasmine Miner for Wish TV. I'll send it to you guys in the studio. Jasmine, thank you. Our coverage continues online. Just grab your phone, scan that QR code. That'll take you to the As Seen On section of wishtv.com. There you can find the latest on travel advisories and closings.